What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers Living. Today we are revealing a brand new product line that we're carrying here at Embers. Um, it's actually a new barbecue line altogether. So they're gonna do barbecues, you know, components like side burners, storage drawers, refrigeration, griddles. Uh, it's a whole new launch that I think is pretty cool. And it's, it's a Wildfire is the brand name. And it's a really cool barbecue. I'm gonna do a barbecue review on it, tell you what I like, what I don't like. Let's go. All right, don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, you can come to our showroom today. Check out all of our cool products in the Westminster area. Also, if you're new to our channel, subscribe, smash the like button. If you enjoy this video, do all the things, blah, blah, blah. You'll enjoy it. If you're shopping for a barbecue, we do a series called the Pa 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 Top 5. So we have top five premium grills, top five quality grills. I'd reverse that. Top five quality, top five premium, and top five luxury grills. So you can go over and check out those videos. But this is a new model that is not currently in the top five, which we'll re be redoing this spring. This is the Wildfire Series. Now we have this in a pro fit island with deck boards and porcelain countertops. Also, if you're interested in designing or need help with an island, give us a call. We can design, we have software to design the whole thing for you, send you everything you need, and you can even order the island components for your home. All right, enough about that. Okay, what's the first thing you notice different about Wildfire, Chris, compared to most barbecues? Um, the colors? Yeah, the, the color. So they don't really offer in silver. So all, basically all the control panels are in black. Um, and now what's cool about this is some of the black components are, or any of the colored components are usually like a porcelain coating or painted. Like they didn't tell me the exact science behind this, but this is actually incorporated into the black. They call it black stainless. So it's actually black stainless steel. So it still has like a little bit of stainless steel finish to it. We'll give you some close up shots, but it is that nice dark color and uh, it doesn't fade or scratch, which is nice. You can see it does have lit up exterior knobs. This is a 36 inch, it does come bigger in a 42 inch. And you can see from the outside, nice clean lines, all stainless steel on the sides, front and back. Has a nice little uh, belly bar above the control panel, you know, which is perfect for my belly. I got a big belly, kind of leans on this a little bit. Nah, just kidding. Uh, anyways, I think it looks really sharp and I kind of like, they do it a little different, the curved edges, which kind of curves back towards um, the island itself. You can also do this in a cart model, by the way. But I think very aesthetically pleasing to look at. Nice big thermometer. What do you think, Chris, of the look of it compared to other barbecues? It looks nice, yeah. I like the colors, very like in the lights. Yeah, I like the black stainless. For me, I'm always looking like, all right, is this the same old song and dance or is there actually something different? Because the barbecue marketplace is super saturated and I think this fits into a really n nice niche. You can see we get under the hood, we do have interior lighting as well. And then you can see we have spring assisted hood as well. So the hood is spring assisted, which is a nice feature. And then we do have our warming rack here. Now here's what's really cool is there's only a couple grills out there that have the full laser cut grates. Now laser cut grates are good for a couple reasons. One, they're thicker. So I think it's harder for veggies, things like that to fall through. And it's gonna be more in contact with the surface area of your meat. And then specifically, I think what's really neat is they're reversible. So it's easy to reverse them and then cook on more of a clean side as well. Now, let me grab a tape measure here. So, one thing that I don't like about it um, is that it doesn't come with a rotisserie standard. Now, I think I figured out the reason why, and I'll explain that here in a little bit. So, the rotisserie would sit right here. You have to buy that as an accessory, which annoys me. But um, it's going to sit about six inches up. So. You know, it's not the tallest grill I've seen, but it's not the shallowest. It's like right in the middle. Some of those, it's like that spit rod's like two or three inches from your cooking surface and you just have no room to do anything and your warming rack's gonna sit up too high too. I think, if I remember right, this is adjust, yeah, that's adjustable. That warming rack's adjustable, which I really love because I like it up out of the way, but I don't like to toss it somewhere in my backyard. Like this is, 36 inches, so it doesn't fit in any of the storage drawers or anything. So that's a nice feature as well. 
Um, you can see even though the rotisserie kit is not standard, the rear rotisserie infrared burner is. That's gonna come pre-built in with your grill. And then when we get under the hood here, these are our sort of grease deflectors, which as you know, I'm a big fan of something like this because it's really gonna help with, you know, not having flare ups. And, uh, you know, even though maybe the ceramic briquettes promote a little more even cooking, in general, they're gonna just have too many flare ups and it's too annoying. And also you can see here, which is kind of cool, these kind of block your burner ports, which I'll get into the burners here in a second. So kind of keep your burners clean. We also have these little side reflectors. I don't really think these do it, they do a ton but they don't hurt. So when they're in here, what these do is sort of help each zone hold its each temperature. Now I should say it doesn't do a ton, it does help a little bit. But the coolest thing about this grill are the burners. So check out this burner, Chris. So we got cast stainless high BTU burner. Cast stainless burners are basically indestructible. Bulletproof burners, uh, H burner series, which I love. You can buy an infrared drop-in burner. So if you wanted one burner to be like a sear station, you can do that with this grill. Okay, that's the grill in a nutshell. Now it comes down to where does this grill fit and do I like it? I love this grill. Here's the reason why. It has a lot of the premium, even borderline luxury features. So it's gonna have, you know, none of our premium grills really have the cast stainless burners. Uh, and a lot of our premium grills don't have spring assisted hood. That's really gonna be more of like a, a luxury category type grill. However, it does not have the luxury price point. So one of our best, the grill I could compare this to probably the most closely would be like the Blaze Pro. So the Pro Series also has a lot of the bells and whistles uh, that a luxury grill would have, but again, doesn't have that luxury grill price point. However, the Blaze Pro does not have spring assisted hood. And even though it has cast stainless burners, it does not have the laser cut grates. However, the Blaze Pro does have a rotisserie. So no, I'm not, no one's told me this, but I think this doesn't have a rotisserie. So standard off of the site or in the store, it's gonna come in underneath a Blaze Pro. And when you add the rotisserie, it's very, very similar price point. That's my assumption on what the strategy was. Doing this for 12 years, I can kind of put two and two together. That's what I think happened. Um, I just wish it came with the rotisserie and it was still cheaper anyway. Like the Blaze, Blaze Pro, the reason it's our most popular grill is because it has a lot of premium features without the crazy price point. This is also gonna fit in that category. So what it's starting to do is they don't have that much competition because either it's gonna be way less defeatured than, than this grill for a similar price point, or it's gonna have a handful of more features and be double the price. You know, some of our American made grills, things like that. So anyways, that's where this is gonna kind of fall, fall on the line logic. I think because of all the premium features and where it's priced, it is gonna perform really, really well. And if you love the curb appeal of the black stainless steel, uh, you can get everything to match. You can get the black stainless storage drawers, side burner, they have skillets. They're gonna have a new 12 inch skillet that's coming out, 24 inch skillet, or 30, might be 30 inch. Side note, check this out from ProFit. So we sell these. These are a little liquor on tap. Are you kidding me? Check this out. So if you wanted a little maker's mark or something, boom, you got your maker's mark right on tap. Anyways, come down to our showroom. We have all these grills on display. I would say in Colorado, we have the best outdoor kitchen display in the state, if I may be so bold. Come down and get, pick out a selection or call and text your staff and we can help you pick out your grill. You know, we kind of feel like we're grill ex experts here and whether you want to spend $1,000 on an outdoor grill or you want to spend $20,000 on an outdoor grill, we got you covered all the way across the board. Give us a call, we'll help you out. Stay tuned for more.